So Melody C isn't talking to Melody W anymore because she borrowed her twistable crayons and hasn't given them back. But Madison P told me and Madison G that it's actually because Melody W threw a meatball at Melody C in the cafeteria, even though her grandfather is a vegan. Either none of that made sense or I stopped listening a while ago. I suspect it's probably both. You! Where the hell have you been all day? Uh, at school? Do you see this thing? Yeah. That's Chrissy. I had to look after this thing all day because you assholes went to school. Oh no, you had to look after your own baby because your other children went to school. Life really is terrible. It pumps, Skipper. It pumps constantly. Why did you have so many kids if you clearly don't like them? Because I like to have sex irresponsibly. Mother of the year. Hey girls, did you have a good day at school? What the Barbie? I've told you a million times not to throw the children. That's how Chelsea got brain damage. What? Where have you been? I had to look after that child for four hours today, Ken. Four hours. Explain your mysterious absence. Mysterious absence? You know I was going to Stacy's Spring Fling Chaperone Committee meeting today. Stacy's what and who? Spring Fling Chaperone Committee meeting. No one has told me anything about a fling fling ring a ding. Stacy told you. She said you were cool with me acting as a chaperone, but you're not interested in that kind of thing at all, and not to mention it to you, because you're a little upset about the whole thing. Wait a second. I gotta go do homework? No. Explain yourself right now, bitch. Why did you trick your poor, innocent, stupid, stupid father into not telling me about a mingling committee meeting? Oh, look. My cell phone's ringing. What? Oh, yes. Hey, that's your hand, not a phone. I'm gonna strangle you. Barbie, calm down. I am calm. I'm very calm. Now, please excuse me while I take this lamp and bludgeon young Stacy in the head with it. Anyone know how to do stitches? Might want to start Googling that. So, how was school? Stacy, it's me, honey. Look, I'm sorry for how I spoke to you. I just want to give you a hug. Can you open up, please? Ugh, fine. Haha! <laughs> Tricked you, you little dick nugget! I'm still f***ing mad! You tell me right now why you didn't tell me about your bling bling dance! Uh, it's a spring fling dance, and why do you care so much? I care because I always chaperone your dances, and everyone always has a great time when I'm there. No one has a good time when you're there. You get drunk in the first five minutes, you personally spike the punch, and your breasts usually make an appearance before security can escort you out. You ruin every dance you chaperone. I do not! Remember that time I chaperoned the one that was being televised on National Bandstand? And Danny ended up dancing with Cha-Cha instead of Sandy? That's Grease. You're describing the movie Grease. Am I? Okay, okay. But what about that dance I chaperoned where that one kid had come back in time to make sure his parents hooked up at the dance so that he could be born? That was a great time. That's Back to the Future. Are you high? No. Maybe a little. Listen, whether or not you want a chaperone is irrelevant because with your track record, there's no way the committee is going to let you come. Bull you're just making excuses because you don't want me to embarrass you in front of your gross little friends. That's not it. Is. Isn't. Is. Fine. Okay, fine. You're right. You embarrassed the hell out of me. I want to have a good time at a school dance for once, and I can't do that with my mom. Making a drunken mess of herself. How dare you? I am always a good time. Yeah, that's exactly what all of my friends' dads say about you. <gasps> I have met. Wait, which friend's dad? Let it go, Barbie. You're not chaperoning the spring fling dance. I so am, you little shit, and it's gonna be the most epic dance ever. Just like that other one I was at, where that girl was named prom queen, but then someone threw blood all over her. That's Carrie, you need to get off the drugs. Whatever, I'm gonna see the ding ding committee right now. They're going to beg me to chaperone. You just watch. <laughs> you actually thought we'd let you chaperone another school dance? After what happened at the last one when you pole danced to Anaconda? Or the time before that when you served the kids pop brownies? Or the time before that when you had sex with the DJ? Okay, I'm hearing a lot of negatives here, none of which I can deny. But what about all the good times we've had? How about that great dance we had in the Catskills when they were going to make Johnny do the pachanga, but then he saved me from the corner you put me in and we did a sexy dance? And everyone loved it? That's Darty dancing. Really? Okay, well, you gotta admit, if that were a real memory, would have been great. Are you high? Not the first time I've been asked that today. Look, this matter is closed. You are blacklisted from chaperoning dances. But I've changed! I swear to Mattel, I've changed. Since I've gotten back together with Ken, I'm like a new person. Isn't that right, Ken? I don't really want to be a part of this conversation. Back me up, asshole! My mother always told me not to tell a lie. My mother always told me to withhold sex from my boyfriend if he won't let me have my way. We both know you're incapable of that. Damn you and your truth-telling. I really think you should sit this one out, Barbie. What are you saying? Because it kind of sounds like you're on their side. Well, I maybe sort of a little bit am. You think I ruined dances? I never said that! 
But that is what I think, yes. What the actual f***, Ken? I am the funnest person you know. Not fun for a teenager, no. The kids love me. You threw one of them at me this afternoon. She burped on my conjurer kit. What do you expect me to do? Barbie, I think you're being a bit unreasonable and self-centered when it comes to these dances. Trying to relive your glory days when this isn't about you anymore. I am still in my glory days, bitch. Skipper didn't stop going to the dances because she thought they were conformist gatherings where people judge you on your material possessions. Good, because she should stop coming home if she's afraid of that kind of judgment. Barbie, she stopped going to dances, so you would stop chaperoning them. This is all well and good. You having an out right here in front of us. It just proves that you cannot conduct yourself in a public place in an appropriate manner that is required of a dance chaperone. And your outfit just screams trailer trash gold digger. Excuse me, your outfit screams I've never had a real orgasm in my entire life. Decorum, you have none. I'm not sorry, Barbie. This is simply not going to work. It seems like even if we went to a vote, you would have a unanimous no. Oh no, what should I do? Hmm. I know there's one thing even you committee dicks can't deny money. Well, now that you mention money, it is my duty as chair to present you with an invoice we received from the last dance from the fire department showing up when you tripped the alarms while singing It's Raining Ma'am. That was worth it. Also, we believe a mandatory donation should be made on your part to replace the curtains you burnt the year before that doing your fire baton twirling routine. I'll begin writing up some checks right now if you wish your little Anastasia Penelope Sonny Shea Roberts to ever be able to attend a dance again. You wouldn't! We would if we must. Thanks a lot, Ken! Did I do the baton twirling? You're blaming me? Blaming me? Here. Pleasure not chaperoning with you again, Ms. Roberts. Oh, I haven't felt this oppressed since I was a teen and moved to a small town that had banned dancing, forcing people like me to dance in secret in empty warehouses. That's footloose? Now you know what? <laughs> no decorum. No. What do you think of my dress, Barbie? F off. Come on, Barbie. It's Stacy's sixth last spring flame dance. You have to cherish the moment. Well, you can cherish sleeping on the couch tonight, dickwad. Stop being bitter, Barbie. It's not our fault you put yourself on the blacklist of oblivion. It's not my fault you're a fun-hating prude. Enjoy your not-fun-at-all dance while I sit here all alone in my PJs eating vodka and ice cream. I will have fun, and I won't be embarrassed or anything. Who knows? The night may even go without having any emergency services being called. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad you're glad. I'm glad you're f***ing glad I'm glad. I'm glad you're glad I'm glad you're glad! Okay, now, bye! The Uber isn't here yet, Barbie? I said bye! Come on, Stacy, let's just wait outside. Ra, ra, ah, 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 Roma, Roma, ma, ga, ga, ooh, la, la, want your bad romance, I want your ugly, I want your disease. Zombie Gaga is so good. I'm having so much fun, guys. How about you? Sure. I guess. The punch doesn't seem spoiled this year. I hate it. Really? It's yeah. really bad. I mean, the music is good and everything, but it's like kind of weird. But no one is being sexually aggressive, making you forcibly dance with boys. I don't mind dancing with boys. The boys are not even dancing. It's okay the boys aren't dancing with us. Hashtag girl game. I only have so many school dances left where I can dance with my crush. But tell me how that can happen, Stacy. if your mom isn't here to make it happen. Your mom is so cool. Remember that time she danced topless to turn down for what? Yeah, I remember that. I think I have a photo of it on my phone. Guys, what about last year when I threw up on my crush because I didn't know the punch was spiked? At least the punch gave you courage to even speak to your crush. Also, your mom was here and you didn't know the punch was spiked? That's dumb. It's not the same without your mom. Actually, it's kind of boring. If we wanted to dance to music without boys or any spontaneous nudity, we would have just had a sleepover at my house. Not at my house. What are you guys saying? I think your mom not being here has kind of ruined the dance. You're right, guys. Barbie did get everyone to have fun and dance. I mean, the boys are just standing over there. What have I done? Excuse me a sec. Dad, I've ruined the dance. Why, did you throw up on your crush again? No, but I told Barbie she couldn't come because she's embarrassing and ruins everything. And just look at this dance. No one is having a good time. It's as boring as the hiatus between bachelor seasons. I think we both ruined the dance then. I should have stood up for Barbie to the committee members. They're just so mean. They threatened to not let you attend any dances if Barbie didn't do as they said. What? Barbie did that for me? Yeah, we've been right jerks to her about this the whole time. I wish Barbie was here. Me too. I am here, bitches, and I just heard all the admitting you were wrong speeches you just said. Barbie! Are you worried the committee members will see you? No, I made a donation to the school so big they're gonna build a whole new wing. The Barbie was right wing, so they can't do sh Oh, hi, Lewis! Ms. Roberts, I wasn't expecting to see you here tonight. You tried to paint me into a corner, but I managed to buy my way out. I own this school now, bitch. Nobody puts Barbie in a corner. 
Sorry for the interruption, kids, but there's someone here that usually chaperones the school dances. This time, somebody told her not to. Oh, no. So I'm going to do my kind of dancing with a great partner who's not only a terrific dancer, but somebody who's taught me that there are people willing to chaperone middle school dances no matter what it costs them. Miss Barbara Roberts. Oh, please. Please, Jesus, no. Please, Jesus, no. And I hold it up to you because I... Are your parents doing the dance from the end of Dirty Dancing? I'm gonna be sick! I'm actually gonna be physically so sick right now. Now I finally found someone to stand His by. Eye. They're doing the Dirty Dancing thing! So <laughs> riding on the wall as we felt this magical <laughs> fantasy. She did it! Your now mom saved the dance again. Toby Bronson just asked to dance with me to Dirty Dancing! <laughs> Hey, Stacy, you having a good time? Maybe. You know, hon, I do what I do so we can all have a good time. It's a burden sometimes to be the party monster. I know. Hey, Barbie, you know I love you, but I won't ever admit to it. And if you tell anyone, you're dead. Ditto, you little sh**head. Do the lift! Do the lift! Do the lift! Do the lift! Okay, ready? One, two, three. Ow! What the f***, Ken? Why did you jump? You're supposed to catch me! I always saw myself as baby and not Swayze. You're lucky I'm made of plastic, you idiot! There are pop brownies on the snack table! The bug is definitely spiked now! <laughs> and I swear I just saw nipples. Best dance ever! Oh well. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe! And follow us on social media, links below. Loves it! And Mickey! Okay, now run! Uh Good job! I've always wanted to be baby! And I've always wanted to do Swayze! At least one of us gets to tick this off our bucket list.